Hi everyone, so I'm back again with legendary fighter Norman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'll, I'll get nervous. <laughs> so I'm back with legend, legendary yeah, fighter Norman Buckland. <laughs> uh, we've got a few questions, and one of the questions was, who was the hardest fight one one on one that Norman ever had? And I was going to ask him this anyway. I've just got to give a shout out to the people that asked the question. So Purple Aki, thank you for the question. Purple and Rick. Rick from Australia, Rick, Z Rick Zaccagini, thank you for the question. Is that a purple Aki from Manchester? It's not the yeah, not the real one, no, it's just no. his name on here. Yeah. So yeah, so Norman, who was your... Why did you pick purple Aki <laughs> for a name? I know. Hey, can I measure your muscles, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you've got a good sense of the humour like me, I suppose. Yeah, so, go on. So who was your hardest one-on-one -on -one fight? It was McPhee. There's been a few McPhees, there's still up, and total respect to all of them, right? I mean, but um, when I when I went up to Manchester, I had to do the Jeremy, not the Jeremy Cole show, the, the uh, George, Judge Judge Bernie, was it Judge? Judge Bernie? Rinder. Judge Rinder, like. The big minder there, he, he was there. And he was saying about, about McPhee, Billy McPhee. He, he settled down in Manchester. He didn't live, he, he, you know, they were the family from Scotland. His brother feared me more than him, like. His brother, a big Scottish fella, like. You know what I mean? Thick Scottish accent and that. He had a big beard, like. You know what I mean? And it was all over the merchandise and everything, like. And I had a good scrap with Billy, but he had a big reputation. He, he settled down in Manchester. I don't want to get it all wrong, like. You know what I mean? Because all the McPhees come from Scotland. And they seem to be a right, tough family, like. You know what I mean? But, um... He, he was a tough, Billy McPhee. They settled down. The last thing I, f I heard was uh, the, the Newlands run Manchester, didn't they? Yeah. But I thought it was McPhee's. If, so, if anyone can let me know what's happened to him, like Billy McPhee and Alex McPhee, they had a clang there. They, they had a little fern there in, in Manchester, originally from Scotland, and maybe we can go up and interview him, like, you know what I mean? Because the, the man could have a row, like, and I want to get the right geezer, like, you know what I mean? I don't want to mix it up. You've got to learn with, with names, like, if John Smith was the hardest bloke I fought, there's 100,000 John Smiths out there, like, you know what I mean? So you've got to make it clear and get the right one, like, you know what I mean? So this, this, this fight you had with Billy McPhee was, yeah. was in Manchester. Can, it, you, it, can you describe the fight? It was a George Michael concert, like, yeah. And he come down just with another fella. The fella didn't even look like he was a fighter. But McPhee weren't a big fella like, but he had a greyish hair, his hair was going greyish. And uh, he like a gangster, he come down there. I, wanna, I can't remember, he, obviously a Scottish accent like, you know what I mean? Mixed in with, with, with Manchester. I wanna see the big fella, the big fella. That was Thick Bellamy, I used to mind for. And I thought if he's going for Thick Bellamy like, He's got, you know what I mean? I'm gonna to have to fight him anyway, like. And he was screaming, and there was a lot of security there. And even the Hell's Angels from the NEC were there, like, you know what I mean? And they're saying it's McPhee, McPhee, like, you know what I mean? Be careful, like, you know? And uh, I heard the name, but I also heard it up in Scotland when I worked up in Scotland, all over the country. And uh, I sized him up, like, you know what I mean? I said, oi, oi, you're fucking McPhee, like, yeah? So what, well, what do you want to see? And like, I started sizing up and I thought I'd take him out quick, like, so I threw a left, right, left. And he didn't drop, did he? No, he just fucking like, boom, 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 like, you know what I mean? I was, I was a bit quicker and faster in the day. He was a bit, he was a bit tougher, I was. And straight on the fucking jaw, like. Yeah. Well, you caught him jaw, on the jaw. Like, yeah, straight. But my favourite punch was bang, straight to the solo plex. Yeah. But that's crazy now, because I think nature's, nature's taken over, like. That is my solar plex. I've been punched there so many times, I've got to have an operation. It's gone inside out, the solar plex. Pushed out. The body punches, I used to take the body punches. And the solo plex punches I used to take, it didn't hurt. But my dad, when I used to get punched in the chest, I used to do it all over the country, like. The hardest bloke in a disco or someone wanted a row, like, you know. I said, well, you think you're tough, mate? You know, well, I used to, used to do with you. Tough boy, so what are you going to do? What are you got? Yeah. Big punch? You knock people out, do you? Yeah. Even when I was pro, even when I was pro, Norman would let me hit him full pelt in the stomach with my shots. And when, that, we, when, we, when we were sparring, he'd put his hands up and he'd go, yeah. "Come on, 
and I'd hit him full pelt. And that's what I used to do with the tough guys, like. And of course, they used to lay into the gut and help throw a few. Hard. I've even had people that's fucked their hands, like hurt their hands on me, like hit me in the gut. But that's the honest god truth, like. And he used to slow them down, like, once they couldn't hurt you, you know what I mean? They'd think you made a steal or something. But my dad was always saying, stop doing that. And I said, why? He said, it killed Houdini. Yeah. I said, but Houdini <laughs> used to be chained up and thrown on the water. <laughs> he said, yeah, but it, it burst his appendix, yeah, apparently. Yeah, yeah. And when he jumped in and went in the water, his appendix burst, and obviously it killed him, like, yeah. you know? And I said, well, it's... But no, it's quite If you can see that now, yeah, I've got the chest and so, I've got so, that in the front, so that's first that's gone inside so, so out. Going back to the actual fight yeah. with McPhee, can you describe what happened and why it was your toughest fight? Oh, he he wanted to, he, he tried to kill me, like, you know what I mean? The man had a horroring reputation, like, yeah, yeah, I'd hit him back, he'd gone back a few times, you know, he'd gone back, he said, so. I don't know if so I can't do a Manchester accent, I'll do a Scottish one. But it was sort of a mixed Manchester Scottish. So you're a boxer, are you? You're a boxer! That's after and, you've hit him. And I thought he must be a traveller, he's talking traveller now, he's not Scottish, we're all from Manchester. I can only do a traveller accent. So you you think you're a boxer? You think you're a boxer like? And uh he's come down, isn't he? He's come down a somehow come down like that, you know. So my hands would go over the top of him, like, yeah. you know? And uh, I've grabbed his fucking, his hair, like, and I've swung him around, like, and obviously I've discolated his neck. Pulled his neck But he, he carried Did, on Didn't fighting. you bite, he bit you and poked your eyes and all this and... Oh, that went on, yeah. Well, the fight went on for a long time. It must have been about 20 minutes, half an hour. And I think I was just that little bit fitter, like, yeah. you know what I mean? What age uh, were you then, in your 20s? In my 20s, yeah. I, I was... I was in my peak. That's what I mean. He was knocking on that, like, and he he didn't look in good shape. So you this pull, is why you pulled all his hair out and you dis dislocated his neck. Well, yeah, that's because I pulled. I used to just throw him around, swing him around, swing him like, right, yeah. yeah. He was, uh, but he was handy. He had those short arms. He, you know yeah. what I mean. He could fight, and he tried to rip my lips open and go for <laughs> the eyes. And I thought, what a dirty fighter! He was just like me, you know. <laughs> and I was a dirty fighter, but. I used to fight, if, if, you, if you was in a fight with three or four people, right, and one of their fingers would come and you bit their finger, like, they'd, they'd cry, wouldn't they? Oh, I have my fingers bitten, like, you know? And it, it, it was just to get rid of people, like, it was horrible, nasty. I, it's, it's unlike me, I, I'm always a fist fighter, but I suppose anything goes in a street fight. Yeah, There's no rules, anything goes, like, mate, you know anything I mean? goes, that's it. But, you know, this is why I like Matt boxing, like, you know what I mean? In a street fight, he, he, someone could get ki get killed easy, like. And it wasn't always the way you hit them, it's, it's the way their head hit the floor, yeah. you know what I mean? You yeah. could push someone when they're drunk. This is like when I used to do the doors. Sometimes it'd be easy fighting four or five people, like, because they're all drunk. So you'd go into them like that, and they'd go flying. <laughs> of course they're drunk, and they'd go straight over their back. And sometimes they'd bang their heads. And people used to think I used to knock them out, like. Yeah. But they used to knock themselves out. Yeah. But sometimes when there'd be a lot of them standing together, like. I mean, I still do the doors now, but, um. Oh, we had trouble last night. Some you girls, get in trouble? Like, last night, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and what I'd done, the, the, the lollipop woman giving the lollipops out. And these girls are screaming and shouting. I don't know exactly what was going on, like. But I got amongst them, like, I started giving them lollipops. So he, they're all angry in that light. It's going, do you want, do you want, what? I said, can't I have a lollipop? <laughs> I said, put it in your back pocket. You don't have to say that at all and give you a lollipop, like. And it broke the atmosphere up a yeah. little bit, like. You know what I mean? It diffused it. It diffused it, like. And that's what you got to do. Yeah. Diffuse them, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Prevent, prevent it from happening rather than trying to. I mean, some of these it. girls come out, they look pretty. They look a million pound, like. You know what I mean? And I'm the first to tell them, like. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, some of them, they're old enough to be my grandchildren, so I respect them. Yeah. And I do care about them. And even the, even the boys that are fighting, you know, no, no matter where I'm working, I'm working up uh, Windsor mainly now, a lovely light cl uh, nightclub up there, a lot of respect for the place. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to see them fine. I don't want to see them in trouble. They could be my children or other people's children. Yeah. Show a little bit of respect, like. Yeah. Even if I get caught by 
pinch or punch or kick up the ass yeah. as I'm breaking them up, like, yeah. it doesn't really matter. If someone catches you square, square in the jaw as you're running into a fight, when you break the fight up, he don't want to hit you again because he didn't really have much impression on you, like, you know what I mean? And now, these days, like, you know, I'm getting older, I'm 60 now, maybe one day I'll, I'll take a good eye or whatever, like, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Like, I had my day, I was good yeah. in my day. Oh, I never feared no one, I'd go body punches with anyone. Yeah. Although, like, my solar plex is inside out now, I've got to have an operation. But that was my yeah. fault. My dad warned me. And uh, the stand in front of anyone in the, in, in the country, in the world, like, and say, look, you know, let's see what you like. Like, yeah, give them. And sometimes they, they would, like, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, well, Matt, all the top heavyweight professional boxers. Yeah.